The show's about to start, people. What's going on? Hideous hair. I'm a Stevan Apodaca. When I first moved to Albuquerque, I decided to open the Stevans and Alana Academy East Alana Spa because Ed and I and the name of the school all start with an E. So that's why it's East Alana Spa, but it still is Stevans and Alana Academy. I'm originally from Socorro, New Mexico. I've been in the industry for 31 years. It's been a journey. It's a great journey. My name is Edwin Abeta, born and raised here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I met my partner and my business partner, Esteban Apodaca, about seven years ago in a local gay bar here in Albuquerque. He told me, he goes, I have one, only one thing. Uh, and he says, can you buy me a drink? I pulled out my business card and I handed him my business card and I said, not only can I buy you the drink, but I can buy you the hamburger and the fries too. My name is Lily Apodaca. I am Stevan Apodaca's mom. I answer the phone. I take care of his appointments. I confirm his appointments. According to Stevan, that I do mess up appointments, but not intentionally. Sometimes they call to cancel. We forget to mark them off, or we don't take their phone number down, and we have to call them. So I have to look at all the old appointment books to get there. But now I have a, a Rolodex with all the numbers. So I'm not messing up too much anymore. The third at 11.30. Thank you, Betty. I think I'll just write it down on the book and that way I won't get in trouble. <laughs> Stefan was running a little late. Uh, Katie was with him uh, back at the school and they were uh, finishing up Stefan's makeup for the, the program. And I was dealing with the rest of the students and of course Carly and Ashley were having to fit in the bathroom. They didn't feel like their makeup was complete. Esteban is gonna flip when he finds out that Katie's not here yet. Look at me, with my lips, she's the only one who has my lipstick. I need, I need her here now, where is she? What is taking her so long? She did your makeup like that. She did my makeup like that. She did Esteban's makeup like that. What the f Why is she taking so long? They're calling her, she's not her cell phone. I don't know where she's at. She's not gonna be in the show, I don't know. We did a little circus event. Carly specifically was complaining about some lipstick or something that Katie had and Katie wasn't there and it was all drama. My role of course is try to do the best I can to settle the waters. I finally decided, okay Ed, time to call Esteban, find out where he's at. So I had to get on the phone, call him up and say, Esteban, where are you? The show's about to start, babe, where you're already running late. What's going on? Everybody's waiting on you. I'm the person that's kind of trying to settle the waters before he gets there. And um, I think, that, like I said, that's one of the things that kind of drives me crazy about Esteban, that he's always late or always running at the last minute. Uh, but it always seems to work. Look at me, with my lips, she's the only one who has my lipstick. I need, I need her here now, where is she? So Esteban kind of took over that part of the problem and uh, made the girls settle down. Calm down, calm down. This is why we created the Lawn Academy, because there is so much hideous hair out there that these instructors and school owners are just not getting, teaching these students what the real world is out there. 
This was an event, a local HIV AIDS group that was putting this on along with a place called Southwest Care. This was our second year involved in that AIDS benefit. If it wasn't enough with the drama with, uh, with Carly and the makeup, uh, just a few minutes before going on, Lexi walked into the bathroom and she overheard Courtney and Johnny and Taylor saying some stuff what she thought was about her. We're about two minutes away from being on stage and I just can't believe this is happening now. I can't deal with her anymore. And it's hard for me not to want to punch her in the face. That's just her. That's all I got. Her. Like, hey, are you like, serious? Like, you, I don't have time for your You know, even after all that happens, uh, I'm always really confident with the students. They somehow seem to pull it all together. We had a, a great performance. Our theme was circus. Katie, for example, was a, a tightrope walker. Carly happened to be the, the, the horse trainer. I was the lion tamer. So we get to the performance. We do a really great job. There's a huge crowd. And Esteban, of course, his role was the ringmaster. Down in the South Valley part of Albuquerque, there they do uh, an annual Dia de los Muertos parade. We had planned on this thing for quite some time. Every year we put together a theme, and this year our theme was Hollywood. So we had our students uh, spend about a week to two weeks putting together their costume, putting together their plan for their hair and their makeup for that day. And so I was supposed to be in charge of exchanging the email and getting us registered for the flow, blah, blah, blah. This year, for some reason, the rules had changed a little bit and I wasn't really aware of the changes. One of the changes was is you had to be registered at least, I think it was three or four days prior to the parade. We were really concerned that we weren't going to be able to apply for the event. You know, most of my students have already purchased costumes and spent a lot of money on the event and we've already prepared everything for the event. So uh, what I was asking really was for you to make an exception at this point. I'm, I'm sorry, what? So here I am having to explain to Esteban, oh my God, Esteban, there is a problem. Okay, all right, thank you very much. We'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Esteban. Huh? We have a small problem. What? I just talked to the person in charge of the event and because we were late in applying our, for our application, they're not going to let us participate in the parade. Excuse me? Did you hear yeah. that? Sorry guys. Oh my god. Bull uh, that ain't going to happen. You get her on the phone and you let me talk to her. We will be at the parade. I guarantee you. I don't want you guys to stop doing what you're doing. Continue working. Everybody continue doing what you're doing and I will take care of it. Believe me, they're not gonna mess with me. That's hideous. I guarantee you it's not gonna happen. We will be in the show, promise you. Steva never, ever, ever, ever fails my school. Hi, hi Rosita. Yeah, this is Ed again with the, the Academy. Uh, my partner wanted to speak to you. Hold on just a second. Hi Rosita, this is Esteban. Listen, we did all what we had to do, and we did not know about the deadline. We've been participating in this parade for the past two to three years. 
It never was made clear to us. That's all we had to do was show up with candy and all the, the guidelines on the flow. Now, I'm gonna make you very clear about this. I guarantee you, we will be at the parade. I have a school of 30 students that have been here since six o'clock in the morning and they will be at the show. Now, if you have an issue with that, I wanna to speak to your manager or whoever's in charge of this. This is a public event and it's all for the Latino culture, which you know I represent highly with my school. And I promise you, we will be there. What do you mean, wait a minute? Down in the South Valley part of Albuquerque, there they do uh, an annual Dia de los Muertos parade. Every year we put together a theme, and this year our theme was Hollywood. I was supposed to be in charge of exchanging the email and getting us registered for the flow, blah, blah, blah. This year, for some reason, the rules had changed a little bit, and I wasn't really aware of the changes. One of the changes was is you had to be registered at least, I think it was three or four days prior to the parade. I'm, I'm sorry, what? So here I am having to explain to Esteban, oh my God, Esteban, there is a problem. We will be at the parade. I guarantee you. That's hideous. What do you mean, wait a minute? Hideous, hideous, hideous. Uh, that's a favorite term of his. That's hideous. Hideous car, hideous hair, hideous clothing, hideous fashion. Hideous, hideous, hideous. Hideous hair. When everything is not right, uh, I've even found myself saying hideous. It's hideous, how do they say? I'm ghetto fabulous. I love it. This is so hideous. Everything is hideous. Hideous hair, hideous hair color, hideous all the time. Stephen has always taken care of me. He's just a caretaker, so when he goes to Vegas, Lily goes to Vegas. Practically all we did was shop. I need to find my lashes. The ones I wear? Come on, let's go. We're this way. You look amazing. I've seen him before. Yeah, get next to the baby. When Stevan says we're going to Vegas, Lily goes to Vegas. We did a lot of walking. We went to forums, shops, I don't know how many times. We're in Vegas. We're gonna go down this way. I bought makeup at the makeup store. I want these ones. What do you mean they're out? I just like my skin to look clean and yeah. fresh. Usually look real natural. Yeah.